I'm gonna give you guys a challenge. It's gonna fly up here, bounce off this rock, and boom, look at that. Perfection. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another exclusive super cool lineup guide for Lotus. I have some pretty cool lineups. This is probably the hardest map to do solo lineups on, so I do expect you guys to practice a lot because some of these lineups are pretty hard to do. Don't blame me. Blame Riot for making this map super difficult to make lineups on. We're gonna start with Orb Control. I'm splitting up in Attack and Defense. We're gonna go through all the attack arrows first. Orb Control for A. The spawn barrier is gonna be right here, so you're just gonna lean into the spawn barrier. And then you can aim for this corner right here. Do a full charge, double bounce. Ahead. And it's just gonna land right here. Make it much more safe to grab this orb. For orb control on B attack, you're gonna jump up on this box. You're gonna aim for the point here, but you're gonna go slightly to the left. Full charge, double bounce. Revealing like area. that. Hits this corner here. Scans everything. Your teammates can also wall bang from C if they have a heavy weapon. If you don't have a teammate with you or you're afraid that it's not going to be smoked off or someone's going to pee like a neon or something, you can also do a slightly worse from from here. Full charge, one bounce onto this corner here. You can see how this one doesn't quite get around this corner, but it still works for the most of it. For orb control C, you're just going to lean into the spawn barrier. As soon as the spawn barrier goes down, you just move along the wall until you see the ear of the elephant there. And then you're just going to aim right above this corner like so and do a full charge. It's going to hit right in the arch. Perfect. Very easy. So this map has two rotating doors, one on C and one on A. Both of them can be wall banged by heavy penetration weapons like the Sheriff, Operator, Guardian, Odin and Ares. On A door, you can go into this corner until you stop and then you're going to take the bottom right line under your drone icon and I'm going to place it right on the top of this leaf like so and do a one bar. Then you can run up to the door here and then you can wall bang. And you see this arrow lands right here and scans everything, even the peaking spot here. And as a bonus, this wall is actually medium penetration. So if you hit the same arrow again, like so, you can actually shoot through this wall as well. So wall bang from C main into C door. You can get into this corner here and then you take your charge bar and you align it with these lines on the wall that you can see now. So it's this line and the line on a box. Do a full charge double bounce. Revealing area. Now the only thing I don't like about this one is that the timing is a little bit off. So the first scan you won't miss. But you can still hit it, especially if you have teammates with you that have a heavy weapon. Uh, this is probably one of those where some of you could try find a better one. I didn't find one with the time I had so far. One thing that is a really cool technique to learn when you play Sova is to use your Sova ult based on the info you get from your recon dart. We used to do this with the drone a lot in the start, but with the recent nerfs to the drone, it made it a lot harder to do this successfully. And also people are getting better at dodging drones. So the way this works is that you have to wait a little bit and ult after the recon scans. So the timing hits perfectly. Generally, you wanna ult towards B side here because has very like closed off spaces. So I've made recon dart from many different points of the map that all hit B side. So one is that you jump up here and then you're gonna take the corner of your click indicator like so and do a one bar Revealing area. and it's gonna land right on the edge there like so and scans him on B side. So now I'm gonna show you how to do the old combo with the correct timing. I shoot my recon dart there Ahead. And then I wait for it to land, and then... See that? Do you see how that timing... The time's perfectly. So you just gotta practice those until you hit it, because you need to ult exactly when the scan hits them. So I'll say this much, both for attack and defense, I really prefer playing A as uh, Sova, which is why a lot of my lineups are also from here. I have another angle where I can do exactly the same thing, which is this door switch. So you're gonna put the right diamond under your charge bar, right on the tip of this leaf on the flower. You do a one bar. And it's basically gonna do the exact same thing. Like there. there they are. And it scans the entirety of B site. Okay, fake darts. So when a map is this wide, it is really nice to use fake darts. So what I mean by fake darts is a recon dart that comes to the opposite side of where you're actually pushing. The problem is that a fake dart needs to come from a realistic angle so that it looks like you've actually fired it from C lobby and not from A lobby. And we do this by doing silly bounces from different spots or delaying how long it takes before they land. So the first one is really easy. You back off until this wall, until you see this leaf lines up like so. 
and you're just gonna do a full charge, one bounce. Now it's important that doing fakes needs to be addressed with your team so they don't sell the fake without you. For instance, I play a lot with red, so for us it's super easy. Red can send his TP down that way, and then it pushes there together with my recon, which means that it seems like at least two people are pushing there, but then he can TP out and I'm already there. So then that's like already a really good fake that has worked multiple times, even against Radiant Lobbies. For the other one, I'm kind of proud of this one. And you need to practice this one because it's also very pixely. You're going to run into this corner in spawn and you're going to take the uh, left diamond right here in the crevice of these trees, but just two pixels above and do a full charge one bounce like so. This is why I said you need to practice this. So it bounces off the slanted surface there. And you can notice how much time I have now. I could run all the way to seaside while this arrow is still flying in the air. So as long as you hide, that works. And it's even a pretty good scan too. So it seems realistic. So finding good double shocks for pulse plant in this map is not easy. So far my favorite one for A has been this one simply because by hiding here, you are fairly hidden from these two angles and it's a fairly easy lineup as well. So you're gonna run into this corner like so until you stop. And then the first one is going to be a two bar where you just aim in the opening of these leaves there. And then afterwards, you got to count to four and then you're going to shoot a full charged double bounce onto this line here. So it's going to look like so. Two bar, two, three, four. There you go. It is important that you communicate with your team because two of the most common plant spots on this map is on either side of this box. But obviously, if you want to play post plant from out here, it makes more sense to plant on this side of the box, both for your lineup also, because after you've done your lineup, you can actually run out here and you can already peek it from here. So for B, this one is also another disclaimer where you have to be really aware of your surroundings because you're right out in the open when you're shooting it. You're going to run into this line here and then you're going to do a two bar where these leaves here line up with your right click indicator like so and then you're gonna do a one bar where the left corner of your charge bar just hits this edge so it's gonna look like this and then depending on where the enemy team plays sometimes you might plant here this start is slightly in a more safe spot but it's also pretty tricky so you're gonna run into this pillar and then you're gonna do a one bar one bounce where the bottom right line of your right click indicator goes right on this leaf and then you're gonna pull down slightly and just use the top right corner of your right click indicator here again guys this needs to be practiced one bar one bounce and a normal one bar Okay, so for Seaside, this is my absolute favorite one, not only because it looks really cool, but also because it's such a strong post-plant spot to play from. Because of this mound here, you notice how you can so easily peek out and jiggle from different heights. It's really hard for them to pre-aim you and everything. Again, this one is very pixely. You move on to this corner here, and then you're first gonna do a two bar where the top right corner of your right click indicator is right there at the bottom of the bush where the bush meets the rock. And then afterwards you gotta wait about three seconds and do a two bar two bounce where the second charge bar line lines up here on the sand right under these lines like so. Oh, and you gotta jump. <laughs> this is why we practice. Now we'll wait a little bit. Mwah. Okay, so that was the attacker half and now we're gonna go through the defender half. So, personally, I love playing A site on this map. I think A site is designed very nicely for Sova. You have good shock dart opportunities, you have good recon opportunities. You can do ults down to A lobby, you can do ults into B. We're gonna do the same thing as we did on attack. We're gonna fight for orb control first. The first recon dart, we're gonna line up this wall like so with that line in the background. And you're just gonna crouch so the arrow lands a little bit higher. And then you're just gonna take the left charge bar diamond right in the middle of this cross on a box and do a full charge double bounce. Ahead. Now the cool thing about this arrow is that if you have a teammate with you, 
he can either smoke this off or push or throw any sorts of utility to delay them slightly for that recon to land. And you have a super good spot to do ultimate combo. It's a very like small room. For B, I don't really have anything fancy. I don't think Sova should play here in the first place, but um, this is probably one of those where you want to smoke it off anyway because the orb is around this spot. So you smoke close to here. So either uh, reconning high above like so, or even doing like a one char uh, one bounce full charge uh, for this corner is fine. Or if you want to, you can also drone out. For C, there's another easy one too. The spawn barrier is approximately here. So all you have to do is just aim for this pillar here at the top of it like so. Full charge, one bounce, super easy. It just goes into this corner and it sees pretty much all of this early push. Another reason why I love to play A is because it's very easy to get wall bank kills by playing tree and arrowing outside tree. Anywhere else here can be penetrated by a vandal, even a ghost, and the orb is right here. So you can also spam this uh, block here just uh, if they try to take the orb. There is one fast and easy wall bank dart that covers a slightly worse area, but it's probably the best one to do if you don't have a lot of time or if you're just panicking because you just run into the corner you aim for the corner of this tree here and you jump and you click. Very simple stuff. And you can easily get wall bank kills like that. The problem with this one is that it doesn't scan this side. And this side can be penetrated by medium. I have another one that is harder to do, but it covers a larger area. So you want to get to this corner like so. And then you put the top left corner of your charge bar right along this line like so and jump and click and you jump and now i should be able to spray here see and it hits right here so this is probably one of my favorite wall bang arrows just because the timing is really good and it comes very quickly from an unexpected angle so i'll i'll show you the dart first so it flies like this and hits right there so you see how like they have to react really quickly to be able to shoot this how you do this, you stand on this box, you line up your left charge bar diamond in corner of this art piece thingamajig, full charge, one bounce and a jump. And notice the timing now, when I run to the door, perfect timing. So when retaking with uh, Recon Dart and with Sova in general, a lot of the times you want to use your Sova ult if you have it. That is why a lot of these recons also double up as a very good uh, Recon Sova ult combo. You want to back into this wall here and spawn until these two line up like so. And then you're going to aim right above this blue thing and you see how the second charge bar line lines up with this one, except you're just going to go a few pixels to the right. And the reason for this is because it clears a very Revealing nasty enemy. angle in tree room. So it hits right here in this edge. And now Killjoy cannot stand in there. Also, if you have a heavy weapon, once again... Don't be afraid to use heavy weapons on this map, guys. So if you remember earlier, we did the uh, recon ult combo on attack from this spot. Now you can do the same on defense. and You can actually aim for approximately the same spot too. So you go into this wall here. I do several lineups from this spot as well uh, because it's a really safe spot and there's an open skybox in front of you and if you play A anchor you will probably have some of your utility ready when you're at around this location so for instance before I rotate I can fire off my dart here. You're gonna take the top right corner of your charge bar and you're gonna put it right under this line like so and do a one bar. Revealing area. Now this one's gonna land exactly like the other ones did before, just right there, there so you can combo it up with your ult if you want to. So just like all the previous recon darts that we do for ult on B, you can do one from here as well, get into this blue corner, and then you're gonna take the dot on your left mouse indicator, and you see this kind of crevice here, you're just gonna move a few pixels to the right, like so. You gotta practice, and you do a one bar. Now this one should hit the edge, there. There they are. I will scan B site. And then if you're one of the quirky fellows who would rather play C, don't worry, I still got you with the same dart, with the same combo. Get into this corner, place the bottom right corner of your charge bar right on the corner of this thing, like so. And you do a one bar. Again, guys, pixel perfect. Pixel perfect. Here you go. 
There they are. Okay, so here's another retake dart again. I can't stress this enough because I'm an A player. I time this, so I go into this corner here. You're gonna take the top right HUD line and you're gonna place it right there on this corner, just like so. And you're gonna do a full charge. And then you notice if I start running, now you're gonna look at the timing. So the dart is still flying. These walls are really high. Notice that a dart is landing right there as soon as I swing. See that? So, from my experience, one of the most common spots people plant on on A site is this corner right here. Once again, from the same spot that we did our retake recon, you back into this corner once again until these two line up. And then you're gonna do a one bar where the left mouse indicator dot lines up with this plant like so and a one bounce and another one bar one bounce where you aim straight over this black dot here it's gonna look like this also the uh, double shock dot i showed you for b side earlier from this spot can kind of also be used for a defense it's it's one of those spots where it's not really good for either so you have to know when to use it and be sure that you have teammates that cover you so one interesting thing about c main is that it's technically the only entry point to c site for the attackers and if you look at how this site is built there is nothing to clear on the left side which means that when you entry this site you will probably hug the left wall and swing out this way i made a shock dart that lands right here on this spot again this is actually again from this box on a site so this is where intuition comes into play. A lot of people ask me, how do you know when to use your lineup? And obviously you can't just like shoot it when they're already there. So you have to look at your map. Like is your teammate holding this angle? Did your teammate get killed? Are there smokes? The way we do this one, we go into this corner and then you're gonna do a two charge one bounce where you place the second charge bar line right in here. And then afterwards you're gonna pull down and you're gonna do the bottom right line under your right click indicator right onto this one. And the funny thing about the timing on this one is that it's actually kind of newbie friendly because you need to wait just a little bit. So the time it takes for you to find the second lineup usually makes the lineup actually better in terms of timing. So two charge, one bounce. You aim down a little bit. Oh, there I found it. And then you watch how this one bounces off of the roof. And then they both fly and they kiss. There you go. Another dart you can do, this depends on timing, whether or not you have already used your shock darts, or if you're a C player that just played for retake, you can move up to this line like so. And this one is kind of unique because it uses two clicks. So first, you're gonna do a click up in the air with your left HUD line right there, bottom of the line right there. And then you're gonna do a click one bounce while aiming for this wooden panel right above this vine. So it's gonna look like so. Click and click, super fast. Okay, that was it for the lineup guide. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please respond with what your favorite lineup was. Uh, these are obviously a lot harder than the ones you guys are probably used to, but it's also gonna feel very rewarding. And speaking of things that feel rewarding, I'm gonna give you guys a challenge. This is the final dart. It's not like super useful, but it's super cool and it can be used to pop your ult as long as someone stalls for you long enough. But this one is pixel perfect. So you go into this corner here and gonna take the top of your left diamond right into the corner of these leaves like so and go one pixel to the left, two charge, one bounce. It's gonna fly up here, bounce off of this rock and boom, Found there it is. Look at that, perfection. Cause I'm a sober main. I practice every day in a custom game. I'll always be the player with the biggest brain. Yeah. <laughs>